guys, this is Julia, and today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a system image in Windows. So, it's always good to create one, like, if you want to have a backup of your computer, so that way, if, you have, if your computer crashes, and you don't want to completely reinstall, you can at least use an image and have most of your programs and things like that. The only downside is that they'll probably all be outdated, or your Windows 10 build in the future may be outdated when you use it, but you can always re-update all that and stuff, and... For me, since my computer has been crashing a lot, I want to have an image backup, which actually I made my computer look exactly how it used to look before, pretty much, except I don't know why one of my icons is missing, but it doesn't matter. But, anyways, yeah, I just reinstalled like two days ago or three days ago, maybe, so. Before we actually create the image, we're going to want to right click the start menu and go to disk management in my case because I'm putting it on another partition instead of using a backup drive because. I'm I because I'm not sure if it deletes your backup drive or not, but you can see I already made this 78 gig partition here, and I have like the Windows 8 and the Windows 10 partition. But for you, you guys, you could take your partition and shrink it, and then tell it how much you want to shrink it by, and then you'll have and then it'll, you hit shrink and it'll, it'll shrink like this, which I already set it up in um the Windows installation disk. So yeah, but. Okay, sorry, it was raw, so you had to right click and delete. So, after if yours ends up being raw, which happened to me because I created it in a Windows installation media through there, just right click it and delete it. Now you right click it and click New Simple Volume, Next, and you just leave it the same, Next, and you can assign a certain drive letter, which in this case I'm going to be doing I, Drive I, since I for image. You could do B for backup, but I just want to do I. So then you're going to hit, I'm going to do next, hit next. Now you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it backup image, like I used to have it named before. Because it was a long story. I lost every partition on this computer. It's It was something really insane that happened. You guys probably don't even want to know. It was so bad. It corrupted the whole partition table and everything, so... Okay, yeah, hint, it was a virus. Alright, anyways. Backup image, we're gonna perform a quick format. Next! Finish! It's formatting. And there we go. Now we can go in here and we have a backup image. Then, I'm going to show you guys how to actually... How to actually create the image, but before that... I'm going to do something on here real quick and speed it up and run some natements before I'm actually going to create the image. So, I'll be back when I'm ready to create it. Guys, okay, so now I'm ready to create the image. So, I just let it do some natements. It's actually like the middle of the night, but I let it run some natements so I can create it while I'm sleeping. So, before you actually create this image, make sure you have either the backup drive plugged in or the partition ready. And then you'll be able to make it. The second thing you actually want to check is actually make sure that your system protection is enabled because if it's not, the image will fail. And I'll put a screenshot in about now. Which showed the error I had before. So you're going to right click, start menu, go to system, and system protection. If you have your backup image, configure, make sure it's on, mine's on because I did it earlier. So, after you do that, now go to control panel, go to your system security, backup and restore, and then create a system image. So, then it's going to look for backup images. And it should find it. So just give it a second. Okay, there we go. I found it right away. If not, you could always select. And it does mention that it's on the same disk. So if the hard drive fails, you'll lose it. Which I don't really care. I just have it there for if my computer crashes. If the hard drive fails, get another one and reinstall. So I'm not really worried about that. You could do it on DVDs or network location, but I recommend a backup drive or separate partition. 
whatever you want to do. And you're going to click next. And then you select what you want to back up, which I don't want to need to back up 8.1. I'm just going to leave it like this. Then you're going to click next. And then I'm going to start the backup, which before I'm going to start it, I'm going to stop this video because I don't want to back up this video to that and I'll start recording on another device so I'm going to do that real fast before I start this over here I'm going to accept this other thing and I'm just going to start the backup and then it will say it is saving the backup which for me usually takes like an hour to make this maybe 45 minutes it depends on how much stuff you have on your computer but it also depends on how good of a computer it is. I like to make these after installing Windows and have everything on it. That way, it's just there. So it's repairing. And I'm going to let this run overnight. And have an alarm for like an hour from now to shut it down. Because then they'll be ready. So it says it's preparing to create, and soon it will say it's backing up. You should see it soon. So I'll pause this right now, but we don't have to. Okay, there we go. Backing up EFI system partition. Then it will be backing up your C drive after this. So now it's backing up. As you can see, I just waited a minute because it was taking a while. So it's going to back up. It'll take maybe between 30 minutes to an hour, could take longer. But for me, I deleted a bunch of extra stuff like the previous versions of Windows and junk files and things like that, so it shouldn't take too long. So I'll probably be back in an hour. Once this is done, I'm just going to let this run and fall asleep and come back in like an hour. So I'll be back once this is done and hopefully it didn't fail. Okay guys, I'm back, and it's asking me if I want to create a system repair disk, which it will ask this, which is like a way to get to the recovery options if your computer doesn't boot, but you could also get to the recovery options with the USB or with Windows USB or Windows DVD, which it's not going to actually let me because I don't have a CD drive, because if I hit yes, it's just going to say it can't find it but just exit that. And as you can see, it was created successfully. So now we go in here and we got our image. So there we go. I don't need to do it. You go to your recovery options, Windows image recovery or system image recovery, and you use that. So that's how you create an image. Thanks for watching. Hope that guys helps because I create a lot of them. And bye bye for now. Anyways, now after you have that, right click it, and you're going to, you're going to make, what am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? How do I make this into a volume? What in the world? Okay. I'm so confused. I can't make this volume. You know what? Please, 